Hello students, welcome to Sort of Search classes. The problem that we want to solve today says P is given a matrix 1 minus 3, 3, 0 minus 5, 6 and 0 minus 3, 4, a 3 cross 3 matrix and the product of the eigenvalues of P inverse is what? Firstly, let us find the eigenvalues of P. So the characteristic polynomial is 1 minus x times minus 5 minus x times 4 minus x plus 18 which is equal to this is the determinant of p minus lambda x so p minus lambda i i beg your pardon x i rather so the minus 3 term will go to will be 0 because there's a column of zeros here and the 3 term will also become 0 because there's a column of 0 here so the determinant will just be this times the determinant of this block so this is x can be equal to 1 or x plus 5 times x minus 4 plus 18 equal to 0 so x square plus 5x minus 4x which is x minus 20 plus 18 which is 2 equal to 0 so x square minus 2x plus beg your pardon x square plus 2x minus x minus 2 equal to 0 which implies x minus 1 x plus 2 equal to 0 so x equal to 1 or minus 2 now p can be upper triangularized such that we have minus 2 here and we have 1 here so this is basically p which would imply that p inverse is equal to minus half 1 1 something else because if we multiply two upper triangular matrices the diagonal entries get simply multiplied with each other so product of eigenvalues eigenvalues of p inverse is equal to minus half times one times one which is equal to minus half so we see that the correct answer is minus half we move on to the next question the value of the real number beg your pardon the next question let a1 equal to 1 and a n is equal to 2 minus 1 by n for n greater than equal to 2 then sum over n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by a n square minus 1 by a n plus 1 square converges to what so we have a1 equal to 1 and a n equal to 2 minus 1 by n now sum over n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by a n square minus 1 by a n plus 1 square equal to sum over n equal to 1 to infinity one by so erasing out this what does this actually mean this actually means this is equal to 1 by a1 square minus 1 by a2 square plus 1 by a2 square minus 1 by a3 square plus 1 by a3 square minus 1 by a4 square and so on these get cancelled out and what remains is just 1 by a1 square plus some term here which we have to find out where it goes when n goes to infinity so what we do is for convenience let us just write sk 
equal to sum over n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by a sorry i equal to 1 to k a i square minus 1 by a i plus 1 square which gives us 1 minus 1 by a k plus 1 whole square so as s k limit of k goes to infinity s k will be limit of k going to infinity 1 minus 1 by a k plus 1 whole square so this minus 1 by a k plus 1 whole square is the term i was talking about here so as k goes to infinity what is this this is just 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by k plus 1 whole square as k goes to infinity 1 by k plus 1 goes to 0 so this is equal to 1 minus 1 by 4 and so 3 by 4 is the correct answer so 3 by 4 is the answer if you have any doubts in the problem please post in the comment section if you like the video please press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such videos thank you